So we are going to look at the same passage that we did last week, uh, Luke 1, 26 through 38. We're going to focus more on the second half of that <laughs> and Mary's response. But as we start, I just want to begin with the question, what aspect of who Jesus is as he was revealed the first Christmas has stood out to you? as you prepare to celebrate this year. Is there anything that comes to your mind, things that you've read, heard, run across, um, things that God has been speaking to your life? Um, what aspect of who Jesus is has stood out to you? Well, he's the word made flesh, you know, in human form. So. Mm -hmm. And God came to live with us. So, an amazing message to consider mm. that reality. Yes, I think of His humility, um, mm. being willing to come as a as a baby, yeah. and then just being so unselfish to give up heaven and everything that was there to come down here to save us. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we. You know, theologically, we talk about this is the beginning of his humiliation. Mm -hmm. You know, and you think about coming a baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just uh, hard to comprehend, but that he did that for us, out of love for us. And to experience life mm -hmm. so that yeah. he could be an advocate mm -hmm. for us. And sympathize with yeah. us in our weaknesses. He understands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just encourage you to think about that and to be looking for and listening for God's voice. You know, what is God saying to us as we think about approaching Christmas this year and what Jesus did for us? Well, let's, let's read the whole passage. Um, Luke 1, 26 through 38. So somebody's got 26 through 30 through 29, and we'll go all the way through verse 38. In the sixth month, God sent an angel, Gabriel, to Nazareth, the town of Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled by, at his words and wondered what kind of reading this might be. <clears throat> the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great, will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord will give him the throne of his father David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom will have no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I'm a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. All right, thanks. So question one, what made Mary a person who was favored by God? That language used in both 28, verse 28 and verse 30. <clears throat> make a person today someone who's favored by God. <clears throat> Greetings, O oh favored one. What made her a person favored by God? Her willing heart. Okay. We sure see that in this passage as she responds to this message from the angel. She had a believing heart too. She believed what the angel told yes. her after a question, but still yeah. she believed. Yeah. yeah. So she, she was chosen to carry God. So she's mm -hmm. favored. Yeah. You know, no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
And she was from the right line too of yes. David, you know, a yeah. Jewish, the young Jewish yeah. girl from the line yeah. of David. Yeah. Like many of them were, but you yes, know, but, but she was yeah. had those other aspects. She had kind of an unselfish and sacrificial nature too, because yeah. she was willing to do what God asked of her and she knew it wasn't gonna be easy. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was gonna be hard, but she was willing. So you know, just to recognize that statement by the angel, all of the things that we've said is true, and that's right, but the word that is used is the word grace. Mm -hmm. And so there's a sense in which Gabriel says to her, greetings, you who are graced by God. And so the heart of this isn't what was it in Mary mm -hmm. that caused her to be favored. Mm -hmm. It's God is giving her grace. Mm -hmm. It's a gift that comes from God. And that's what makes her favored mm -hmm. is God has graced her. You know, and so, you know, for us to hear that as well, Mm -hmm. You know, what what would make a person today someone who's favored by God? We yeah. are. Mm -hmm. God's grace. Right. Right. Is what makes us favored. Him mm -hmm. acting. You know, it's not something we do mm -hmm. that makes us favored. It's that he favors us. He gives us his grace. Well, that's a definition of grace to unearned favor, yes. undeserved love. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, that all makes sense. That's, that you say no, that. that's the language that's mm -hmm. used here. Mm -hmm. She is highly favored because she is the recipient of grace from God. Um, mm -hmm. The, I, I, yeah. I, I just can't help but say this, though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> say it. <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes paraphrases are wonderful things, and they can be helpful in our understanding. We have to recognize their paraphrases. And sometimes they may not quite get it. <laughs> so the message paraphrase mm. of this statement is... You are beautiful with God's beauty, beautiful inside. No, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, the word can in secular contexts talk about beauty, it, you know, and so it's not completely, mm -hmm. other, but in this context. Mm -hmm. No, it all comes from God in this context. Yeah, that's what it meant. Yeah. So just to recognize mm -hmm. that, like you say, a lot of times they're very helpful mm -hmm. and can, you know, really open up what mm -hmm. it's talking about. But we have to recognize it's a paraphrase. It's yeah. Somebody's interpretation. Mm -hmm. So that was just yeah. a little interesting. Oh, wow, yeah. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So, um, so then question two: How does Mary? respond differently than Zechariah. Compare Luke 1 verse 12 and verse 18, and how can this help us in our response to God's word to us, including guidance, circumstances, etc. So Mary, um, you know, we see her response. Um, the angel says this to her. She's troubled, tries to discern what sort of greeting this might be, and then she asks, how will this be since I'm a virgin? And then her response at the end, Zechariah, when the angel comes first in verse 12, Zechariah is troubled when he saw him, fear fell upon him. But then when you get to verse 18, after the angel tells him what God is going to do, Zechariah said to the angel, how shall I know this? For I am an old man and my wife is advanced in years. So what do you see as different when looking at Zachariah's response versus Mary's response? I don't think you both believe that. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, that, that really, you know, it's how you feel. There, there's mm -hmm. doubt there, for sure. My paraphrase. <laughs> yeah. But this is impossible. <laughs> well, yeah. And then it seems like that's... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
pocket clip on it. Yeah. 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 It can't, this can't be, this doesn't mm -hmm. work. But then that's doubt. That shows doubt, I think, mm -hmm. where Mary didn't she's doubt. Just and asking she's how accepted it. How biologically can this happen? Yeah. She's just right. yeah. 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 How, how yeah. it will be. But yeah. She's not saying, well, that can't be. Yeah. You know, right. right. Yeah. How, it, how can it be? Yes. Yeah. And I think that's a good mm -hmm. way to put it. Not that can't be, but how. What's the biology behind it? What's the, plan? What's yeah. the biology oh, behind it? I yeah. don't understand. Yeah. Is more her. Yeah. Response versus this can't. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, you know, to look at them because in a lot of ways, there's there's very similar, the, the responses are very similar. You know, they both are troubled at the same. They both ask a question or, you know, have something to kind of, you know, mm -hmm. but the angel's response to either of them is so different, isn't mm -hmm. it? And so we really get the impression, you know, the angel recognizes as God's messenger what's in their heart and mind is very different. Is can they, do angels know that though? But I think they're God's messenger, so God can tell them. Oh, okay, <laughs> that that be how I would. And, you know, and the way you say things too. Yeah. You know, because yeah. Zachariah probably was like, well, that's. Impossible, yeah. right? Right. 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 right? Mary yeah. just said, but how can yeah. that be? Yeah, it's just a difference in right. how and that it, and yeah, we weren't there, so we don't yeah. know that exactly, yeah. but that's probably not. And hear the yeah. tone of voice, yeah, right. those kinds of things. Mine says, How can I be sure of this? Zachariah says, mm -hmm. It's almost like, We'll prove it, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, yes. I want to know for sure because I just don't believe this, yeah. and, and there <laughs> seems like that, you know, it. Sometimes it gets talked about as Zachariah was demanding a sign. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to tell me certainty. how can you make me believe this? Mm -hmm. I think I'd do the same thing as Zachariah. Well, <laughs> oh, no, 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 I would. I might have said probably more. Yeah, and I know. You would have been not only silenced, you would have been like yeah, me. I would have been. I would think the whole premise would be who is this that's telling me this? Well, you know, if, if it's almost like, is this the guy next door who's dressed up, or is, it, or, or is, <laughs> oh, is this somebody? Is this an age? I mean, that you would think is the number one promise is who is yes. this? Yeah. And, and who is this? And, and that is Gabriel's approach to Zechariah. You know, as you look at that text, Zechariah asks his question and his response Gabriel's response is I am Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. from I, you you should have believed me. Yeah. I'm not the guy next door. <laughs> well directly from God. And <laughs> was it wasn't exactly in the Holy of Holies when all that happened? Not or in the Holy of Holies, but in, oh, temple, in the temple. Holy yeah, yeah that's and it. this angel and, and he's he's afraid. You know he he recognizes this is Supernatural. Something oh, okay. done. This is, this and yet he is, asked the question. Oh, yeah. And Gabriel says, You should believe me. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's that's that in my impression anyway. Yeah. That'd be my number one. Who is this? Yeah. And if I know this is a, this is yeah. a messenger from God, I hear a lot of guys on TV who say they're messengers from right. God. Right. But yeah. and they say a lot of things, and you don't know right. who right. they are and right. what the credibility yeah. is. But if, yeah. if I know this person is from God, then that's when they get yeah. start getting credibility. Yeah, and and that seems like Mary's response is she recognizes this is a message from God, and so I do believe it, even though I don't understand it. Yeah. You know, she recognizes that this is God's message to her. And, and you know, so hopefully that helps us. You know, we need to be listening, discerning, who is it that's giving us this message? Where does this message come from? You know, but then, you know, can we take that approach that Mary did? You know, this is from God. I can believe it. You know, and I can trust him in this. Is there any significance, mine says, when the angel, an angel of the Lord appeared to him standing at the right side of the altar of incense? Is there that position any 
I mean, why did it tell us that just to be because more, there's, more there's, specific or there shouldn't have been, any shouldn't have been in the right yeah. place. Yeah, but yeah. why at the right side of the altar? Yeah, there, sure yeah. Why. yeah. If, uh, I, I can't think of off the top of my head just to be, why there would have been significance in that spot. Detail. Okay. But I'm not sure mm -hmm. it could be. Yeah. It's interesting that it makes that. It's that yeah. specific. And it says yeah. appeared to him where didn't it say he came the angel came to Mary? Yes. But here it appeared. It's to me, it's like he just came out of nowhere. But I don't that's know. you know, that's what we talked about last week, where it doesn't explain what that means. Oh, came oh to, it came if he walked you know, knocked on the door right. if he, or if he just, just appeared. Yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> But it's two different so words, and you're know. the one that knows all the Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little different description, but yeah. it wasn't necessarily yeah. different okay. in terms of how it happened. Oh, okay. We don't know yeah. what that looked like. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, as we look at this, then, question three, what reasons does Mary have to be afraid and then not be afraid. You know, that's the angel's response. Do not be afraid. Mm -hmm. okay. What reasons does she have to be afraid? Well, she's never seen an angel before. Okay. That would be... So the angel... Just, is yeah, just that, so is surprising. Yeah. And so he says, mm -hmm. I'm not going to strike you dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I've got good news. You don't have to be afraid mm -hmm. of me. What other reasons does she have to be afraid her whole life is going to change. Yeah. Oh. What are some things that would have caused fear, concern in Mary as you think about the changes that would come in her life? Well, so, she didn't tell Joseph. Yes. Yeah. 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 That yeah. had to be a huge thing. Yeah. What's like Joseph's response? Yes. Well, he's a virgin. My mom and dad. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. So parents, mm -hmm. the whole community that yeah. Is she knows them all and they're all close. Mm -hmm. Joseph, this is going to be hard. She has reason to fear. Mm -hmm. Did they still stolen people for getting it, pregnant or not? It, it wasn't normal practice, but okay. it could be done. Is that a beast? You know, that was the that law, law technically. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she was pretty young, and so just being pregnant would yes. be mm -hmm. a yes. scary thing, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So not just how are people going to react, mm -hmm. but what in the world is this going to be like? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. getting pregnant this way, mm -hmm. <laughs> miraculously. Yeah. How does how's that work? Yeah. And then... But she couldn't tell anybody either. I mean, you can't yeah. say, well, God gave me this. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know, that's, <laughs> like, that's one of the things you wonder about. It. It's yeah. like with her parents. Mm -hmm. You know, she she had to tell her parents something. She's mm -hmm. We presume she's living with them. Mm -hmm. You know, she's going to go to Elizabeth's for three months. She's got to talk to her parents. Yeah. You know, you what did she say? Why she went to Elizabeth for three months? Well, well she went that was the angel told her that Elizabeth was pregnant right, six months old, right. and so I think she went there to verify it. Well, and and just it was a place to go to get away to help mm -hmm. her to deal with things. Mm -hmm. But you know, she had to talk to her parents. We you know we assume that was the mm -hmm. case. Yeah. And what would she have said? You know, because like you say. By the way, not my dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Angel just talked to me. <laughs> His name is Gabriel, by the way. <laughs> and this is what he said. Oh, you know what? Yeah. what I can't yeah. imagine. You know, it had to be, you know, just a lot of faith in that whole mm -hmm. family. You know, you hope, but you know, the, the situation, there were reasons to fear. Okay. Mm -hmm. There were reasons to fear. What reasons did Mary have not to be afraid? The angel says to her, do not be afraid. What are the reasons she has not to be afraid? Trust God. Yeah, mm -hmm. God would be with her. She was highly favored by God. So. You're highly favored. Mm -hmm. He says, God is with you. Mm -hmm. You know, and so mm -hmm. God gives her reasons mm -hmm. not to fear too. You know, and just, you know, we talk about this pregnancy and being pregnant and going through this, but this is also the answer to their prayers mm -hmm. you know the messiah is coming mm -hmm. the one who we've been waiting for mm -hmm. you know this happening to me means all of that mm -hmm. is happening 
And so that was a reason not to hear too mm -hmm. um, in that way, that God's promises are coming true. His plan is being carried out. Um, challenging to hold on to those things in the middle of what she's going through. But God does give her reason not to be afraid as well. Yeah, what about her parents? Her parents. Yeah, because they didn't have an angel it come to them. Interesting to know, yeah. you know, to have some mm -hmm. knowledge of what happened yeah. with her family. Because how do you process any mm -hmm. of this? And, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you know, we know in Jesus' ministry, his brothers didn't believe right. who mm -hmm. he was. You know, so would that have been the case with his with Mary's parents? You know, we don't know. Mary and Elizabeth were cousins. Mm -hmm. Was that through her father or mother? Because, no. but he, you know, it they would have already had that knowledge of Elizabeth and Zachariah having this miraculous yeah. thing. Yeah. And so maybe, maybe by this time. Things impossible with God. Yeah. 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 So we don't know what mm -hmm. kind of communication there was and right. what the reaction was there. <laughs> but, you know, God was doing something mm -hmm. for Zachariah and Elizabeth. I think that's so, interesting, too, that this was all within a family. <laughs> so. I'm that there that. was that support yeah. that was there. At what point did the angel visit Joseph after she got back from Mary's? Or I'm trying to know, find it in here. We don't know for yeah. sure. Most would think that Mary got this message. Mm -hmm. She basically immediately goes to she visit Elizabeth, okay. is there for three months. Mm -hmm. Then she comes back to Nazareth. She's three months pregnant. Mm -hmm. So people are recognizing. Mm -hmm. And so did Mary then have a conversation with Joseph? Mm -hmm. Or did Joseph just find out? Mm -hmm. We don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't the angel tell him in a dream? Yeah. Yes. But after he probably considered three months later. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, how that how did Joseph find out? We don't know. Yeah. You know, did he have a con? You know, because the angel doesn't tell Mary, Mary, you're going to become pregnant in a miraculous way through the Holy Spirit, and then you should marry Joseph. The angel doesn't tell Mary anything about Joseph. About Joseph, yeah. And so she doesn't know at this point, mm -hmm. am I supposed to be a single mom? Mm. You know, it doesn't She was say. engaged to be married to him. She was engaged. But he could, the he angel could have, doesn't, yeah. He could I break mean, it Joseph off. Joseph was yeah. planning on divorcing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah and that's, that's when the angel came. Right. And so, you know, so, it all mm. comes together. Yeah. God has a plan. Yeah. He's got it worked out. But did did Mary know mm -hmm. at this point yeah. that, jo that God would tell Joseph what's going on and tell him to marry her and that he would? Mm. Yeah. We aren't sure. And so this would have been really hard for Mary. So in Luke, it doesn't tell about the angel visiting Joseph? No. I'm looking for no, it here. It's in Matthew. Oh, it's in Matthew. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's why. They okay. each focus on oh, a different, right. different Yeah. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember seeing a show where Mary's coming back from Elizabeth. She's getting out of the cart and her tummy's really big and Joseph's looking. Yeah. Yes. As in a star, that one. It might have been. I don't know. No, it wasn't a cartoon. Oh. I remember she had a green thing to draw some, but I thought at three months pregnant, you don't show no, not not about that. <laughs> especially when you're young like that. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I just remember that thinking, yeah. well, is that real? Is that how it went? Yeah, but and, and we don't know all the details. But yeah. So, what about question four? Does the imagery in verse 35, especially the phrase, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you? Bring to mind any imagery or any incidents from Israel's history. Does that ring any bells? I thought of the Holy Spirit hovering over the waters during creation, yes. you know, and, and you know, so he yeah. was hovering over Mary and yes. you know, impregnated. Yeah. That's what it's, came it's to similar mind. Similar language. Yeah. That Holy Spirit hovering yeah. over. Yeah. 
Nice. Any others? I was thinking when the uh, when the Holy Spirit filled the tabernacle and yes. then again the temple and yes, that kind of yes. makes me think of that cloud mm -hmm. that fills the place. They can't even go in mm -hmm. because of the glory of God that's there. Mm -hmm. That language is similar to the language here. Mm -hmm. Any other places that come to your mind when you think about these words here? I think of the pillar of fire and the mm -hmm. cloud. Yeah. Oh. After yeah. that initial filling mm -hmm. in the cloud, God led the people of Israel through that pillar of fire at night, but through a pillar of cloud by day, hovering over mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. tabernacle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, like the transfiguration of that thing. That's an interesting one. And yes, this language does remind us of the language from the transfiguration. The cloud coming down mm -hmm. and the presence of God mm -hmm. in the cloud. Yeah. The other one that's, again, future is um, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. That's the language that was used at Pentecost. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, Jesus says, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, stay, wait till the Holy Spirit comes upon you that way. So all of that language, you know, this pointed, you know, Mary to God is going to do something, but it's not, it's, it's completely new and different, but it's not out of... The range of what mm -hmm. he has done in the past mm -hmm. you know this is god's plan at work he's fulfilling his plan carrying out his work um and she can trust him to do that how about <clears throat> then question five what do we learn about jesus from gabriel's explanation of his birth in verse 35 he will be holy and he will yes. be the son of god yeah, holy, the son of God, recognizing these are, you know, pointing to his de deity. He is truly God. Other things that you see there that stand out. I like the phrase, nothing is impossible with God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is an impossible thing physically, normally, scientifically. This doesn't happen naturally, but this is God. He is able to do this, which, you know, for God to become man, for Mary to become pregnant without a man being, you know, these are things that can't happen naturally, but nothing is impossible with God. Yeah. It really shows the that he's the creator. Mm -hmm. yeah. He can speak something into being from nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So no. why couldn't he do that? Yes. Yeah. You know, there were things in pagan mythology about the gods coming down and getting a girl pregnant mm -hmm. and the child being half man yeah. and half God. Mm -hmm. You know, the language that's used here really makes clear we're not talking about yeah. anything like that. Yeah. This is completely different than that. This is the one who is to be born is holy. He is God the Son. The Holy Spirit comes on you like the cloud in the Old Testament, the presence of God uh, bringing this about. It's a miracle. It's not a physical act. You either do the real translation <laughs> of utterly holy or just holy. Because my paraphrase is that he will be mm. utterly holy, which mm, means yeah, kind of sets him apart one more and mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is interesting. Yeah. Mine, uh, which is the same as yours, I'm wondering why they said he will be called, not he is, mm -hmm. he, he will be. The Son of God. Is you know, God I think part of it is that it's, you know, he, he is, 
you know, that isn't an issue from God's perspective, but that he will be recognized as God the Son. When you know, that people older. will see that, yeah. yes, and acknowledge it. Absolutely. I think that's the direction it's going. Yeah, that's interesting that it says, what was it? Utterly, Utterly holy. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, the word is holy. <laughs> yeah, how much holier can you get than holy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you can get utterly holy. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, it talks about holy and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. emphasizing sure. it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But sure. Utterly yeah, that that's true. Utterly holy means completely, completely, completely yeah. Yeah. holy. Without yeah. a doubt. Yeah. So, yeah. But, you know, in the Greek, the language, it's just the word holy, holy. is mm. what's there. There's not an extra mm -hmm. word in mm. this. Yeah. So it's just another one. <laughs> yeah. Where they take it the extra mile. Yeah. <laughs> Does it say beyond that, and he will be called the son of God? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, he'll be utterly yeah. holy, yeah. the son of God. Mm hmm so. Okay. So, what about question six? We talked about this some, but what is the point of Gabriel speaking to Mary about Elizabeth? Why does he do that? He didn't have to. You know, he gave the message, this is what's going to happen to you. Why does he bring up what he does about Elizabeth? That maybe it's twofold. One, to so that another miracle was going on where there was this other miraculous pregnancy and then a support system for Mary mm -hmm. that now she could go to Elizabeth who's going through the same thing and they could you know she Elizabeth could yeah. really help Mary yeah. and mm -hmm. Elizabeth would totally believe mm -hmm. Mary yep. yeah. you know, and there would be no questions yeah there. yeah you know and, and I think that's a that's a big part of it you know to me because we talked about, you know, how would her parents mm -hmm. have reacted? Mm -hmm. How will Joseph react? Mm -hmm. How will the people in town react? The chances are they're going to go, what? Mm -hmm. You know, really? <laughs> What's wrong with her? But Elizabeth, she would believe, mm -hmm. you know, and so that would be such a huge thing for Mary. Well, and she got the backing of the priest, Zachariah, yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, he would have yeah. probably couldn't say anything, but um, well, till John was born, <laughs> yeah, till till John but, was born, yeah. but but still, he had yes. some clout, I would think, yes. and he was visited also, yes, by yeah. Gabriel. So, yeah. yes, yeah. Hmm. but you know, this this seems like Elizabeth had this foreknowledge. I it's mean, you, you might debate on that, but <laughs> if you look at what is reading here, it says, when she heard Mary's greeting, mm -hmm. she says yeah. all these things. But Did Mary's, you know, the, the angel, you know, in, in, in giving the news to Zechariah makes clear the baby you're going to have mm -hmm. is the one who's going to prepare the way for the Messiah. And so they should have gotten that message that okay. the Messiah is coming, and there does seem to be some, you know, insight that Mary's coming and the baby's reaction made clear this is it, this is the one. You know, yeah, because it, it just yeah. like she just yeah she just Mary's here, you know, or she says hi, yeah. Elizabeth, and then she says she yes does, that's when she this your gives her all this information. Mary's not explaining anything no, to her. No, yes, and so she's filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes, right. yes. that's the key. And right. so yeah, God, you know, makes it all click. Yeah, this prophecy, what's mm -hmm. happening? This is it. You know, this is the one who's carrying the Messiah. You know, she's the one that your baby is going to be the preparer mm -hmm. for. And so it all comes together at that moment. And Zechariah then couldn't even explain to Elizabeth what he heard and, and well, he didn't speak, talk, right? You know, talked about him using signs and oh, writing. Okay. Writing. She could read then, talk. apparently, or someone could yes. read it to her, I yes. suppose, if she couldn't read. I mean, they have nine months. To that's true to figure it out. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because I was thinking, Elizabeth. yeah, yeah, and, yes, and, and and it does even say that too. Yes, when, yeah. When she hears it, uh, yeah, John's stirring in her yes. womb, yes. and and she's filled with yes. the whole. She yes. was 
it just and, all. And, I mean, she says, you know, he leaped for joy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she's it's got true. pretty clear yeah. understanding yep. of what's yeah. going on there. But yeah, yeah. It's just it's a it's a great picture. I think you know what you said about the confirmation for her that this can happen. Mm -hmm. You know, Zachariah, we said when the angel came to him is like he was saying you got to give me a sign mary says okay and god says here's a sign i'll give you one mm -hmm. elizabeth's pregnant mm -hmm. <laughs> you know that couldn't happen either yeah. but nothing's impossible with god mm -hmm. and so you can believe what's going to happen to you is going to happen and then I, like you said i think that support system and and not just you know, for Mary, this young woman, first kid, you know, going to somebody where she can have somebody to talk to and relate to and deal with all this stuff. But this is Elizabeth's first kid in her old age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is Elizabeth's last three months. You know, how nice was it for her to have this young woman Helping help her, her that's to, true. at that time in yeah. her pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And so God provides mm -hmm. just what they need mm -hmm. at that time. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. hopefully we, you know, we hear that too, that God knows what we need and he's able to provide what we need despite the challenges, despite the difficulties. You know, it didn't mean it was nice or easy or, you know, everything was perfect, but God provided what they needed. Mm -hmm. So what about question seven? What's your response to verse 37? We've talked about it a little bit. Um, does it raise questions? Does it give assurance? Explain. Nothing will be impossible with God. How do you respond? Well, you want to hear what the paraphrase says? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like that. I like what that says. Right? It says, for every promise from God shall surely come true. Which yeah, it puts it in the positive. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I said that it gives assurance yeah. because mm -hmm. we can trust God to do what he says he'll do, even if it takes hundreds or thousands of years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. other responses to that statement you know and it, it doesn't say that you know we will get everything we want because right. god can do anything mm -hmm. you know it's it's he could do it but it's not always in his will right right you know, so that question can come, God, if you can do the impossible, why don't you fix this? Mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. um, but like you say, God can act. He has the power. He is able. But that doesn't mean he's going to do everything that we right. would like him to do. None of you have the, the question that gets raised that was raised in our teen years to this statement, nothing will be impossible with God. Then why didn't he? Oh, okay. Well, if nothing's impossible with God, can God make a rock that's so too big for God to lift? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> I said no, because God is all wise and he would never do such a thing. It was stupid. It's all powerful. <laughs> Lord, your God to attack. Yes, that's the answer I always got to that one. <laughs> but, you, know, I mean, you, you can take this and take it to extremes and twist it and make it crazy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that that is a logical impossibility, not a fact or, you know, a physical impossibility. Could God do something? He has the power to do everything, but that statement is a logical impossibility. So, mm -hmm. but, um, Hopefully, this is something we hear as one of the most reassuring mm -hmm, statements definitely. in yes. Scripture. And, and hopefully, we hear that, you know, kind of what you were pointing to, Joe, I think, in terms of God can do it, even if it takes a thousand years, mm -hmm. that 
God is able to bring about his plan of salvation. And, you know, so God can save me, you know, despite my sin, despite mm -hmm. my failings, despite my struggles, God is still able to mm -hmm. save me when doubts come and when I struggle with assurance. You know, hopefully we can hear that uh, as that kind of a statement from God for us, too. So what about question eight? We again talked about this some. How might Mary's submission to God's plan have been a challenge for her? And how did God encourage and help her in this time of challenge? How does submission to God's plan involve a challenge for us today? What were the things that Mary faced that would have been a challenge? And we already talked about those kind of bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would the villagers say? Yeah. What would yeah. the parents <laughs> say? Oh, yeah. Oh, I told Joseph. And yeah. how do you raise the son of God? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. Just a thousand things to work yes. with. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 <laughs> Very much so. Oh. You know, all of those things so going on. Mm -hmm. What about today? You know, how does submission to God's plan involve a challenge for us today? Well, saying yes to God often makes life a lot harder. But, mm -hmm. you know, if you know you have to sacrifice a lot of times when you say yes, you know. And the people around us, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. cause problems. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have angels telling us. <laughs> you know, that, that's a, something I always struggle with. I just wish that God could make it real clear mm -hmm. sometimes what yeah. what He wants mm -hmm. me to do. Mm -hmm. You know, and and so you just sort of fumble, bumble your way mm -hmm. through it sometimes. And mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you're submitting to His plan or your own. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but. You know, again, I, I hope that, you know, Mary's example helps us in that way. Mm -hmm. You know, because, I mean, you look at Mary's response and it's like, wow. Mm -hmm. You know, just such a great response that she had. How, you know, and her faith at that moment mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we look at Mary, you know, then through Jesus growing up and ministry and all of that, and we see her at times struggling. Ordinary. Yeah, not knowing for Pondering sure. Pondering things in her heart. Yeah. Uh, right. you, know, at, you know, at the marriage in Cana. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <sighs> Was she really supposed to do that? Push, that pushing them too fast. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. You know, so now. And, <laughs> you know. And, you know, then her and his brothers come, you know, when he's in Capernaum, and you know, they're wanting to kind of get him to kind of go back home and hide because they think he might be crazy, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, she struggled mm -hmm. too and, and didn't always know what to do. I mean, you know, Jesus and at the temple when he's 12. Maybe she lost and, them. Yeah, yeah. Mary and Joseph's response. And, yeah. you know, I yeah. didn't know why I'm here. Yeah, yeah. So, right. you know, Great thing. I've lost the son of God. Yeah. <laughs> I know. For days. Oh yeah. and, I, and I finally <laughs> noticed. Yeah. <laughs> I would think she would have said he can take care of me. <laughs> I hope his dad knows where he is. <laughs> oh my goodness. But it, but, it, it wasn't easy. <laughs> No. Yeah, that would be. But hard. she, you know, she did respond in faith. Mm -hmm. And through the struggles, she ended up where she needed to be all the way through. Mm -hmm. You know, God worked, God was in control, God was able to bring that all together for her. And, you know, we struggle <laughs> too. I think but, her biggest, one of her, the biggest struggles would be. When he died on the cross, I yeah. just, oh, yeah. Yeah. just yeah. think, oh, 
Well, yeah. and especially mm -hmm. since it goes against what they thought the Messiah was going to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's it's interesting, isn't it? There's a sense in which we would, you know, we really wonder, was Mary one of the people at that point that maybe at least to some degree got it? Mm -hmm. You know, seeing mm -hmm. Jesus die, mm -hmm. you know, that would have been horrible. Mm -hmm. But she's she's there, you know. She's a part of She's all the habits. Her. And so, yeah. And Simeon, you know, had kind of told her. Right. Yeah. That was going to happen. Yeah. She connected the dots at that point. But, yeah. you know. You do she, wonder. Yeah. Yeah. If at the cross, that would have come to her mind. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and there was. That this was going to happen. Well, and I know, feel it. Like they say, the Bible can't. I mean. There's there's not enough books in the world mm -hmm. to hold all mm -hmm. that Jesus said. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, who knows what mother and son talked about. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she really believed she nothing wanted. is impossible with God. Mm -hmm. So seeing, you know, yeah. she yeah. Oh, yeah, it would be yeah. terrible to see him suffer though. Oh. But it, you know, again, hopefully we we hear that, you know, that picture of faith in Mary. She asks the question. She's troubled. She's turning these things over and over in her mind, trying mm -hmm. to understand it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in the end, she says, okay, mm -hmm. I'll do what you say, God. I'll be your servant. Mm -hmm. And that's what God wants us to do, too. So, so let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this great picture of Mary. Lord, I thank you that we can know that Mary responded as she did, and things happened as they did because of your grace and your mercy. Lord, help us to know that we are the recipients of your grace as well. And Lord, we ask for the faith to receive that grace, to take it in, and to allow you to work in our hearts and lives too. Or for Lord, we know that we too are your servants. And Lord, that what you want to do is the best thing for us and for all those who are affected. Lord, give us that faith. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> so we're going to take a break for a couple weeks. And when we come back to the first Wednesday in January, we're going to try again with the three more weeks of the Wired Word. So we'll see what we get. <laughs> see what's happening in the world. Yeah. Yeah. It could be totally, well, we won't know. We don't know, but yeah, you just don't know. But that's the plan yeah. for starting.